Hey, this is Tim Tibbetts of MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to take a quick look at uninstalling EasyBit software. The EasyBit software comes in some HP, Dell, Acer brand name machines, but a big stink started this past weekend about them installing without permission via Skype. Some people trying to blame Microsoft, etc., etc. We don't know which way it is right now. There's so much debate going on, but let's at least show you how to remove it and remove it properly. Uh, the article, as you can see here, started on ZDNet where I saw it, but it was linking to blogtechnical.com, which I'd love to show you, but it's not loading today, probably due to the long weekend. Everybody's back on their computers this morning on Tuesday, and they are just seeing it and probably just flooded the site down. Uh, you can see that people are doing a lot of debate on it. This link is on our off base on the front page, by the way. Uh, and that Skype did issue a statement that people were mad. They've removed it temporarily. No mention about a removal tool, et cetera, et cetera. But we do have the removal tool now since this article was posted. Essentially, you're going to want to go to your start, your control panel, uh, programs, and look to see if EasyBit is installed on there. If it is, uninstall it. Then simply come on over to MajorGeeks.com, go into the anti-spyware category right here, and scroll your way on down to the E's for EasyBit. Went right past it. EasyBit uninstall it right here. Now once this page loads up, choose one of the sites, whether it's the author, because this is an official file from EasyBits Media, or pick one of your mirrors. Wait for the download to start. Simply click Run. It will it offer to install. There is nothing else going on. It's just going to remove basically the registry entries, anything that was left behind, which is, you know, any geek knows, it's pretty common to have registry entries not get removed. This will finish it up for you. And now you make sure it's completely uninstalled. You might finally want to start your Windows Explorer up. Click on over here to your program files. Make sure there's no easy bit folder here. Double check x86 if you're on a 64-bit system. And make sure there's no easy bit here. And if there is, you would just click the folder and right click and delete. That will completely remove the EasyBit software. If this is a concern for you, nice, quick, simple tutorial. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks.